Bonjour. Willkommen. Alan wa sahlan. I don't know, I'm trying to uh, pretend I talk a lot of languages. So good morning, welcome to all. I'm uh, Dr. Kamel Senoussi, I'm the director of ADVAC. So uh, I'm very pleased to see that uh, most of uh, the participants that were selected are here. We just had like one or two uh, defections last minute for personal reasons. So I'm very glad that you're all here. So welcome. And welcome also to the lecturers uh, on the back. So um, I'm going to do a very short presentation uh, to set the scene. To give, uh, to share a few, uh, a few information that would be very helpful, uh, for the lecture, for the, for the different lectures. And, um, I will be followed by, um, uh, Benedict, uh, Benedict, who's the director of the center here, the Global Health Center, uh, of the Fondation Merion. Um, so first I'm uh, from the University of Geneva. Uh, we will have more time tonight to introduce ourselves, uh, during a dedicated session. Uh, but here, a few instruction and information. So this year, um, we are very glad to have more than 41 um, uh, different countries represented um, in, uh, in the ADVA course uh, for the 74 participants. So just to say that uh, you may not see your citizenship country on the map because we, we illustrated the map with uh, where you're working more than where you're from. Uh, so that's a very diverse, um, very diverse uh, uh, crew, um, and um, we are. That's an important element of the ADVAC course to have people from all over the world and from different kind of countries. So please um, don't hesitate during those uh, two weeks to uh, to uh, mix, to discuss, to exchange uh, with people you're not used to exchange. So the course itself. Um, so the idea of the course is really for you. To, um, to have a, a very broad overview of, um, of the different aspects of vaccinology. We really want you to have uh, the understanding uh, from, from research to uh, vaccine development, from uh, production, from uh, policy, from implementation, and up to the end users, the community. So it's really to have this broad perspective and the the curriculum of the course has been developed uh, for uh, providing um, information on those different steps. So the idea is really for you also at, at one point when you go back uh, to your job is to have a better way of making decisions around vaccines uh, by having understood, by having heard from experts and from colleagues here on the issues of uh, research, on the issues of uh, programming, of implementing, you will have a better understanding and it will impact the way you do your work. Um, on uh, in your in your company, so what we want to do is really to cover different uh, different areas of work, different uh, important element of the different element of um, the vaccinology uh, spectrum. So first is really uh, defining uh, the priorities uh, for vaccine research and development, understanding immunity, immune responses, being aware of the new vaccines approaches, the new platforms. Uh, being aware also of the efficacy of vaccines, how do we measure that and how do we uh, make sure that vaccines that we're providing to the population are, are safe and um, and uh, of good efficacy. The regulatory issues is something that is also um, important when it comes to developing and, and um, providing vaccines to the population. The introduction of new vaccines, many vaccines are coming to the market every year, every two years. So it's important to understand how countries are introducing that. The strategies to reach people, to reach the individuals. And also uh, an important element is the adverse events. Um, because we've seen, for example, for COVID, that there are many concerns uh, by uh, many individuals regarding that. So we're going to talk about that. So this is the spectrum of all the activities that we will cover during this uh, lecture. So one important element of this course is your active participation. Um, we limit every year the number of participants. We received this year almost 300 applications. And uh, trust me, it was difficult to make a selection because most of those applications were of very good quality. Uh, so we still limit the number of participants to a maximum of 75 to allow the participation, the exchanges between uh, all the participants. So you will have lectures 
plenty of lectures. So we try to limit those lectures uh, to 25 minutes every time. We don't want to have lengthy PowerPoints and, and to have you, uh, especially after lunch, uh, struggling to follow or to follow up. But those, those lectures are limited to 25 minutes. Uh, and then they are followed by 20 minutes of discussions. So please, those, we are, uh, we are between us. We are all, uh, working in immunization vaccinology. So we are all, we can ask whatever question we have in mind. Okay. We are between us. Don't hesitate. So those 20 minutes are key, uh, for exchanging and exchanging with lecturers. And you will see, probably have seen already that lecturers are really good. So don't hesitate to ask questions, even challenging ones. They will welcome those kind of questions. We have small group exercises. You will see, uh, you probably have seen already in the agenda. We have several, several of them. We have sometimes some debates. We have parallel working groups, uh, also in the agenda. We will go into the details later. We have interactive sessions. Um, okay. We don't have optional sessions. Uh, that was last year. Uh, but most importantly, networking. Uh, as I said, it's important to exchange during lunch, during coffee breaks. Uh, you have a nice garden, have a walk, discuss with people you're not used to uh, work with. Uh, lastly, just to say that, uh, and I'll mention that a bit later in my presentation, we also have prizes to uh, motivate people to participate. So uh, if you participate uh, a lot, you'll have a gift, a heavy one, I have to say, a heavy one. So some of the elements for the organization of the course um, we are all busy. We are all important. We all have jobs. So, uh, I get you on that. Uh, we all have to respond to emails from bosses and from colleagues or from teams. So we understand that, but please, I mean, this is a unique opportunity to have two weeks of a really deep dive into, uh, vaccinology. So I really encourage you to please put aside your work as much as you can. Of course, you can do emails, you can do calls. Uh, when it's really urgent, not in this room, please, but please do that on evenings if you, if you have to, but uh, try to have this mindset of I'm here. It's two weeks. I'm not going to get another two weeks, uh, tra uh, training in the future. So uh, please do whatever you can to enjoy it, uh, during the, those two weeks. I'm going to show the Moodle platform, uh, after this slide to explain what is in there. That's the platform we are using to share materials. Uh, with the participants. There is a, a mentorship program during those two weeks. You all have a list. Um, and I think uh, it's also outside on the, on the boards. Uh, you're all um, in a group and you have a mentor. Uh, and I'll show after that who are the mentors. So uh, this is important also for you to be able to exchange with the mentors. We ask you to respond to multiple choice uh, questions after each lecture. That's important for us also for the assessment uh, of the, of the lectures. Uh, it's in the Moodle platform. Um, we have, um, email interactions. You will ask questions during those 20 minutes after each lecture. If you still have questions that are not answered during this, uh, those 20 minutes, please send them to your mentors and they will share with the lecturers and we will come back to you with responses, written responses. Uh, we also pre-assigned you for the working groups and the parallel sessions. There will be no change possible. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I didn't say that at the beginning of the, of the course. That's my first year as the director. Uh, but I'm also, uh, I'm trying not to be too dictatorial, but I'll have to be a little bit. Uh, but we will not be able to change. We, we try to, uh, um, to, uh, to, uh, use the information you gave us. Uh, when you, some of you, most of you were able to choose which group they wanted to attend. So we try to, uh, to, uh, really, uh, respect those choices, but we will, we, we won't be able to do that for every group. So we, we had to put you in some groups that sometimes are not completely adequate uh, for your background. Be aware that the exercises are not about the topic itself, but it's more about the processes. So don't worry if you work in uh, RSV and you're in a group that is HPV, that's not a big problem. Um, then uh, today's introduction, at the end of this day, we have a session of two hours where each of you will introduce uh, uh, himself, or, and um, we ask you to do a, a very short introduction, who you are, where you come from, and what you've done. Not long, please, and that's also uh, that also applies to all the questions you're going to ask. Please make short questions, not lengthy ones. We all attended meetings where people ask questions for like five minutes. 
it's not possible. I mean, uh, if we want this to be smart and quick, please, short questions. If you have longer questions, coffee break, lunch, emails. That's much better than having long questions that everybody will be, will hate you. <laughs> so, um, networking, I always see, or we mentioned, I would like to mention that during lunch time, we have set table, you will see set tables uh, on the back. For each table, we assign one or two lecturers for each table, but we didn't assign seating for you. So go to the table you want based on your uh, interest into uh, the lecturer or into the people uh, sitting at this uh, table. And last information, which doesn't apply directly with you, but we have a live streaming of the course that we shared with some of the partners. So some people will be able to watch uh, from outside without being able to participate to the course. Um, a few updates, last minute updates. One is that a few lecturers, I believe it's only two of them, were not able to travel uh, at the last minute. So they will make their presentation remotely, but we will still have the discussion session after that online. And the second is that um, ADVAC is also about the alumni group. We have a very strong and very active community of alumni, more than 1,300 alumni. The course has been this one is the 23rd. So we have uh, many alumni. So we do webinars on a regular basis for new topics uh, and for a uh, topic of interest to the alumni. And we have one. Every year we have one during the SPID uh, meeting this, this year in Lisbon. So we will have uh, a dedicated co um, webinar uh, Wednesday um, at uh, 7.30. It will be... Uh, it will be uh, in person in Lisbon and here in the room, um, and this will be in the Nicole Mary room. It will be regarding uh, access and acceptance to immunization in Europe. You're welcome to join. It's not uh, it's not an obligation. Uh, it will be with the uh, regional advisor from WHO Euro, uh, Dr. Data, and also uh, with Dr. Fache, who's an anthropologist uh, from university, and Adam Finn, who's going to be the chair for the session right after I finish, uh, will be uh, uh, animating this session with Anna Noinek. So the mentors, I mentioned that you will have mentors. So we created uh, six groups of mentors. Um, we, we allocated you in those different groups based on your uh, background. Um, I mean, the, the, the professional background, but also a geographical representation. So you'll have the list or you probably already received the list knowing which group you are in. So the idea of the mentors, and uh, they are all here, I suppose, uh, Anna, Romina, uh, Carrie, Arnaud, uh, Peter, and myself. So the idea is really to have, uh, to discuss with the, with the mentor, uh, to discuss any question that you have related uh, mostly to your career, if you want to have advice on uh, what you, you, you can do, what you can do in the future. Don't hesitate to discuss that with the mentors. You can share any concerns. If you have issues or concerns, don't hesitate to express them to the mentors who will be able to share with me. If you have questions, as I said, uh, following the lectures, uh, channel them to the mentors and they will send them uh, to us so we can reach out to the lecturers. Um, and also, there will be a meeting with the mentors today at the end of the day, I suppose at 6 there will be different uh, rooms where you can go sit with the mentors, introduce yourself, and uh, then initiate this uh, dialogue with the mentor. Um, I would like also to mention that Romina, uh, I don't see Romina here. She's here on the back. Uh, Romina sent you a message uh, yesterday, I, I think, asking you to respond to three questions. Uh, Romina will be doing at the end of the ADVAC course a summary of the highlights of this course. Um, so she needs also to get some information from you. It's very quick. Uh, it, take, it will take you uh, two minutes to do that. So please do that. Um, and if you didn't receive the message, I see some heads nodding. Um, please, uh, Romina uh, is uh, there. Can you stand up, Romina, so people can see you? So if you had a problem, you didn't receive the message, go to Romina. She will help for that. Please do it. Um and then, um, so that's regarding the, no, just forget about the last sentence because I just mentioned that this will be done by the, with the mentors. So now I'm going to switch very quickly and to show you online the, the, the Moodle platform. Uh, give me one second.
So this is the platform uh, where we put all the material. So you all receive an email uh, giving you uh, the way uh, to access to it uh, with your email address, with a generic password. You can change the password if you want. You don't have to. Uh, but what I wanted to show here is really to go through very quickly uh, what is in there? So first uh, thing you can see that uh, on the left you have uh, you have this banner with all the information. You have the uh, participants. Uh, you have general information. You have the agenda. You have the list of lectures. What I would like you really to uh, uh, probably look at. Sorry, I'm not connected. Okay, so let me start again. You have here the participants. You have the list of all the participants, including the lectures. Um, you have the list of, um, here you should have the, the program here. You have the objectives. Each lecture has an objective. So if you want to know what we're going to talk about during the lecture, it's in there. You have all the declaration of interest, and this is very important for us. Um, as you know, this course is uh, accredited by the European Medical uh, Training uh, Council, and um, it's done because also there is a, a strong, um, uh, I mean, there is a strong interest for uh, us and for the accreditation uh, committee to make sure that this course is not biased. So that's why there is a compulsory um, declaration of interest for each lecturers. So each lecturer is sharing that, and um, you can have access to the combined one or individual ones. Um, just opening one like that. Uh, we are not, so you have the information in each of them. We don't, we are not going to do before each lecture that, because I know that many people start with a slide with this information. So to just gain time, everything is in there. So whoever you want to have a look at, it's in there. Just go and have a look. Um, so then the other information I wanted to show was that, um, uh, you have, uh, the declaration of interest. You have the bio sketches. You want to know who's talking. You have the, the bio, a short bio with the picture. So you, you show you looking at the right one. So you have for all the lectures and all the, the participants. Okay. Everything is in there. Uh, you have the mentoring. Um, and you have, you'll have the multiple choice questions on the Moodle, the one that you have to do every day. And for each day, for each day, you have the, the program is on the screen there. You can see the program, but you also have it on the Moodle platform. You have for each lecture, you, you will have the slides right after the lecture. It will be posted on the Moodle right after the lecture. You have, as I said, the bio sketch and the declaration of interest for each lecturer. So you have it for every day. Okay. And last information that we have, we have there is, uh, the material for the exercises. Again, everything is there classified by day, group one exercise that will happen Thursday. You have the different groups. You will see later where you're assigned to, which group you're assigned to. And you have it for any exercise and any parallel session. All the material is online. The pre-reading and uh, the questions during the session. And also when there is a, after the, the exercise, there is a, some material, it will be posted there. Okay. So I'll stop on the Moodle. I really encourage you to, to spend a bit of time. It's, it's really easy platform. So, um, so it's not like a, a big deal. Uh, to do that. So if I, we can go back to the, to, to the slide, uh, Francois. C'est bon? Oui. Okay. So just regarding preparation, um, as I said, we have, uh, exercises, uh, and parallel sessions. Um, I'm sure you read all the documents we sent uh during your flights um so i'm not gonna insult you but uh please read the documents uh it's important before the session to go because the the le the the facilitators of the exercises have provided very good material 
uh, please have a read uh, before the session. It will help you gain time during the session itself and to have a real discussion rather than spending time reading uh, articles during the session. Um, do not do uh, uh, the exercise before. Uh, I'm not sure we, we, we uploaded them, but don't do them before. I mean, it's fun to do, it, to do them during the session. Um, preparation is important for exercise two, but also all the others. Uh, we have a media session. Uh, which is uh, uh, what I heard is one of the preferred one uh, by the participants. I was an alumni in 2010. I was a student in 2010 of the course. I didn't do it at that time because my boss asked me to go back to WHO and to do a meeting, so I couldn't do it. Still up today, I regret not having done it. So I'll probably join you to do it this year. Um, but please do it. It's, uh, it's really something that people like. Um, and uh, you will see that there are material on the Moodle. Have a look at the material and send the video clips that you have to prepare for that session uh, to Deborah. There is also a debate uh, called From Ideas to Implementation, uh, the Realities of Funding for Vaccine Research and Deployment and Development. Uh, this is done by Emilia Belding. She sent you a message. You probably received a message yesterday or the day before where she's asking to, vol to uh, volunteer for that session. So please do so. Okay, one, one um, important element for us is the evaluation of the lectures and of the course. We try to improve the course every year and we need your feedback. Without your feedback, we cannot change the course. If something is bad, if you don't like one, one lecture, uh, not if you don't like the lecturer, but if you have good reasons, Please share during those uh, evaluations. Those evaluations, uh, you will receive an email from the University of Geneva. Um, I know that some of you, uh, I mean, I know Tanya, you didn't receive some of those things. So please make sure you don't have anything in your spam box. You will receive a message from adeven uh, at unige.ch every day. So it's an everyday work. And I really need you to do it. Please, we need that. So every day you receive this message, provide the, the, the feedback uh, for each lecture, for any of other things, you will have uh, different forms uh, to fill. Um, so please do it every day. Every day I will monitor and every day I will be on your back. And I can be very mean. So you don't want to see that. Uh, so please, we really need your help for that. And there is also a final assessment at the end. You did an assessment at the beginning with many questions. We do one at the end to see the progress. It's important for us, and it's also something that we have to submit for the accreditation of the course. And there is also a section where we ask you to commit for some changes in the coming months. You've done the course. What are you going to change in your exercise and your daily work? So we ask you to think about that. Maybe not now, but after having done the courses, uh, the course, you will probably have ideas about how you can change the work you do. Um, so each day at the most convenient time, you have to do the multiple choice question after each course, after each lecture, complete the evaluation, interact with others and think we, we set some time to think about what you learned today, because I know it's a lot of information. It's two weeks. So if we want to cover everything, it's a lot. So we give you a bit of time to stop, think about the main thing that you, um, you went through today, uh, the day and, and think about that and try to uh, remember. That's what we call the, um, the reflect, uh, per self reflection. I don't know how you call it. Self, self reflection time. So those are the three questions we ask you to ask to yourself. Uh, what was the most important thing, uh, that you learned today? Uh, what important questions are unanswered and, uh, what change you're planning to, uh, to make for your practice? Very quickly, some special events. We have two special lectures every year. Uh, one is, uh, uh, the Lambert lecture, uh, Paul Henri Lambert, who you will see, uh, during the castle event, uh, was the founder of the course, um, the direct, the first director of this course. Uh, so we will have Daniel Pincherworth from University of Basel talking about, uh, CD8 plus T cell based, uh, vaccination. And then we'll have the Plotkin lecture. So Stanley Plotkin is one of the also founder of this course. Uh, we'll have the 15 uh, Plotkin lecture and it will be uh, Adesola uh, from Nigeria who will talk about monkeypox. Sunday, 14 May, which is the only day where we're not asking you to work um, during those two weeks. Uh, there will be uh, lunch at uh, Le Chatillon. 
So you see the you see the this uh, one is where we are. We're here. Uh, and the lunch is here in the mountain. There will be uh, transport uh, provided. But I think, Benedict, you're going to talk about that. So I'll skip that one. Sorry. There will be a, 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 a game, a game, uh, a sport day. So usually it's soccer. Uh, soccer and, and Stanley Plotkin was keen to be the uh, referral for that. He's, unfortunately, he will not be able to come this year. Uh, Anna is here. Uh, well, she said she's there. I hope you will be at the soccer team, Anna, this year. Oh, you will be, you are the Gavi meeting. Okay. So uh, anyway, we'll find other people. And I insisted also because I'm not a good soccer player that we do other stuff. So uh, we uh, we bring pétanque. I don't know if you know about pétanque. That's a very French game. And mulki. Do I pronounce that correctly? Mulki? Yeah. Oh, too bad. I think, I think we have it. No, no, I think Benedict managed to get some. Okay. Don't ask me what is mulki. I have no clue. So, Benedict will tell us, and uh, Anna and the colleagues from Nordic countries will tell us. And whatever game or whatever activity you want to propose during this social session is more than welcome. So, let me know if you have ideas. Uh, we have an alumni session every year. So, this year, the alumni session we will start with a presentation uh, from uh, Jolene Mitchell, who's the director of immunization at the Gates Foundation. Uh, she will, uh, she's new to the director position, even if she has been working in immunization for more than 20 years. Uh, she will share with us the perspective of the Gates Foundation on immunization. And then we will have two alumni, uh, two alumni, uh, to present about their career and what they've done and, um, to respond to question and exchange with you. Uh, we'll have Romina, that's your, we just, we just introduced a, a few minutes earlier. And we'll have also Deepa uh, Gamash, who will be, uh, from Sri Lanka and who will present, uh, on that. But also during, uh, all the, the breaks and all that, many of us are alumni of this course, so don't hesitate to, uh, to talk with people. We'll have a dinner and, uh, and, uh, some fun, uh, the 18 of, uh, first day 18, the, 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 the day before the, the end. Uh, it's in the Chateau de Menton Saint Bernard. It's, uh, very nice. We'll have dinner and music and dance and it's always a, a very nice moment. So, the prices, the prices that I mentioned, we'll have three, we have three prices. We have the best discussions, discussions, sorry. Um, so as I said, uh, we have 20 minutes discussion. So whoever is going to ask the more, the more questions, but please not silly questions, of course, but good questions, because we also assess the quality of the questions. So if you ask questions and you actively participate, there is a price. The first price is the new blood plotkin vaccine book. Um, it's just uh, out of the press uh, like last week. So uh, we have that one. We have the, the uh, vaccine uh, book uh, from Paul-Henri Lambert and, and others, uh, who's the, which is the second price for overall uh, dis good discussions for communication. And for r and I'm, I'm giving the old Plotkin book. So old, but old from two weeks, because the new one is just out of press. I still have one from uh, the previous years, so... Be aware that those books, I mean, the weight, I think, is probably like, what, how many kilo? I mean, it's, it, they are like that. They are heavy, very heavy. So if you don't want to carry it, don't discuss. But no, I'm joking. So no, please discuss and we'll manage to uh, to send it if you cannot carry it with you. We have also uh, the best respondent for the multiple choice question. So the winner of that prize will be invited to one of the alumni uh, webinar, alumni meeting that we we attending. Uh, during the year. So, uh, the travel and, uh, registration to this, to this, uh, meeting, uh, anywhere like the SP, this year, I think it's SP and others. And, uh, we'll have also a vote from you, uh, on the, on the most social advocate. And there is a gift. It's a surprise. Uh, lastly, um, accreditation. As I mentioned, uh, this course is accredited by the European a commission for a medical continuing uh, training. Um, we, if you attend the whole course, you'll get 66 credits. Uh, many of you are using those for medical um, uh, training, continuing uh, medical education obligation. Not all of you need those, but that's good to have. Um, so we need you to sign twice a day the presence sheet, which is at the entrance of the room. We really need you to do that twice a day. And um, we will count if you are absent for like a half a day, we will 
uh, we will reduce the number of credits that you get. Okay, so maybe I, I would like to just say a, a last word. Um, as I said, I, I really enjoyed this course when I did it uh, 13 years ago. Um, and I'm really glad to be here uh, as the new director. But I would like uh, for that to thank the previous director, who's uh, Philippe Duclos. Philippe, can you stand? So Philippe was uh, the director for the past six years. Uh, and uh, so I really want, uh, want to, to thank him uh, for um, helping me to organize this course. Um, and I'm saying that also because I want you also to be patient. That will be my first year. So if there's any glitch or any problem, don't hesitate to come to me and to discuss. I'm very happy to, uh, to, to find solutions, but um, I'm, I think it will be perfect for you. So it was a bit long. Sorry, Benedict, I probably took on your time. But uh, uh, if you have any questions, we can take questions later. Thank you.